Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Jim again. Um, I'm reached that point where I'm going to start planting mushrooms or spreading mushroom spores. Here I've got morel mushroom spores. I have got white button mushrooms. And this is in a grain mix. I guess they bleach, bleach the grain, whatever else. And then here's white cap mushroom. And it's kind of in a you know, papery mildewy type of mess here um, and I'll break down some of the different ways that you can basically prepare a mixture to spread um, I looked at the company the company I bought these from is mushroomrush.com and I went on there and of course they have YouTube videos they got a whole channel um, on how to spread the spores and what I noticed for one, is a lot of their methods involved getting a lot of wood chips, sawdust, different carbon mixtures, essentially, and setting up an area as part of their process of spreading these spores. Part of their process was to create a mycelium network of mold. Um, a good thing for me is a lot of my, I have a lot of areas that have are already um, mushroom or fungi dominant. I've spread, I have multiple pathways where I've had sheet mulch for many months, even up to a year, and I've already seen other mushrooms actually pop up, and I don't know what, you know, the, the variation between mushrooms, the different types of mushrooms, which ones can kill you, which ones can make you see stuff, and which ones are just edible. Um, I'm not too savvy on them, and um, it's very difficult. So I bought these three different types of mushrooms, which are obvious just to see um, which ones are good you know if I see a morel popping up there's only a couple of different mushrooms that look similar to and it's pretty easy to see the difference so I wanted to go in I'll show you what essentially what I've done I've taken some of these things just added to a bucket of water and spread it around um, like in the case of this uh, just grab a little coffee cup put part of it in here uh, it's just a smaller coffee cup I'll show you um, but I'm just more about the delivery of the spore or planting the spore or whatever else because I already have a network of fungi I already have the mycelium network and I'm just adding a new type of mushroom to that network um, So stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I spread these spores bury the spores essentially um, And it'll give you an easier idea that if you have already set up an area that sheet mulched or you live in a, a place where there's it's mostly forested you'll have a mycelium network and I'll go outside too and I'll show you in my property how the mycelium network has already been spread and where it already exists all right here we are at my old pile of wood chips and I just wanted to point out this mycelium network that we're relying on basically the fungal network will exist everywhere that there is a high carbon substrate so this was a big pile that has been taken down over the over the months i planted these sunchokes in it <clears throat> into the ground of course into the dirt and i've just been using this as mulch um, so if you have wood chip pathways if you have um, whole area of leaves maybe a couple years build up of leaves will be enough for the fungus to move in because what they do is the a lot of them actually break down break down the wood chips themselves and this is what you get you get this kind of mashed up whatever and if we go deeper down you'll start seeing these white fibers and that's all that mycelium network I don't know if it's picking it up on the on the camera here um, and essentially all you're doing when you're adding different spores is you're adding a different type of fungus and I already know like proof that this you know that this uh, fungal network is here is obviously those white fibers and I've seen you know other mushrooms grow up on this but the, the interesting thing about this mycelium network is that it connects underground from carbon source to carbon source so yeah it started you know it's 
may, you know, the mass amount of mycelium is here, but it's also connected to the roots of this, to the walkways, and to the trees that are out there. And I've actually heard that the mycelium network is actually like the original internet of the world, or the earth. Um, it's really interesting if you look up anything on the mycelium network and the studies that they've done. It's pretty amazing how it works. But I've got my three different types of spores here. Here's the, the wine cap mushroom, and we're just going to break off a piece. Bury it in a hole, break off another piece, bury it somewhere else. I'm going to do it primarily, I'm going to show you here just what I do to put this stuff in, in this spot. And I'm going to go to a couple other places around where I have wood chips. And then this is the morel. Oh no, this is actually, I watered this down. I wasn't sure. I couldn't find a video on white button, but <clears throat> this is essentially the same with, with this type. And the morel mushrooms is I just put everything at the bottom of here and I poured in filtered water. And all I'm trying to do is you're just trying to make it easier to deliver. Now once you, if you're using this method, I'm just going to, nothing too special or fancy about it. This area is in the shade quite a lot, but I will come through and I'll put another layer of mulch, but I'm going to be using old grass stems and things like that. Um, I don't want to, I've already got a whole bunch of wood chips and I don't, you know, I'm not going to mess around with any existing mycelium network. I was grabbed from my pile of old grass and... Uh, just top it off over just to give it some more protection from the sun uh, Just like any other plant you always want to protect it from the sun just like the spores that were spreading out on top Now if we have hold on just a second Now for this for the wine cap mushroom, it's already in this Mushroomy mess papery mess all we're gonna do We're just gonna bury it so it'll be mulched underneath. I'm just gonna bury it. And that's all there is to it. The rain will help spread it. It'll spread by itself. Uh, the soil is, I mean the mulch and all that's already moist. So all this stuff will take off. So I'm gonna get through doing all this and I'll get this posted. All right, thank you for watching and I hope you get out there and get some mushroom spores and just see what you can do. Okay, now you've seen how I've taken these different spores and spread the spread the spores. Let me take these off. Uh, you can see how I've spread them. Now, moving forward, the most effective way for me to multiply or spread this, um, for one, it's going to do it itself. Um, but the next time when I start seeing these different types of mushrooms come up, I'll just basically take the head where all the spores are in it, and I'll bury that in different places around my property. Now for any of those that do morel, morel hunting, stuff like that, just save one of those and put it into a place where it's fungally dominated. And if you have, I mean, even around the base of trees, there'll be a fungal network through there. It'll thin out, but it'll still be connected to any other trees on your property, just like mine. So I have a, I have a net th through, or I have a web through my my whole property essentially that's building because I have 500 more trees that are growing and which is a good thing so really if I look at my property in 10 years even after spreading these spores a lot of those trees in 10 years when they're bigger and there's more shade and things like that um, that mycelium will spread over there and I'll start getting those mushrooms but basically what I'm trying to do is introduce the types of mushrooms that I want that I want to eat um, so I hope that helped hope that simplified things and uh, thank you for watching. All right. Goodbye